Hey, what's up guys? It's Raf5 and I'm doing another haul on the month video. As you can see, I bought a lot of figures this time around. This is my haul for November. Uh, first off, let's start with the one figure I was very not satisfied with. I mainly got her for my Decepticon Prime setup. Yeah, R.E.D. Ragna, or Ragna, or however you pronounce it. Don't remember how to pronounce her name, sorry guys. But yeah, I gotta say, she... Yeah, was alright, but there's a lot of problems. Like for me, for standing her up, I had to put her like, in a certain way. Looks wacky, kind of. I don't know. She's not the best one. I gotta say, not not a bad figure, but not the best figure. Another thing I got is Common Rider Blade Blade. This is a blade accessory weapon for Decay to use or any other rider. If you watch Decay, you know that you know he turns he used the final form of rider and turned into a weapon. Pretty cool. Got a re for a reasonable price. Uh, one figure that was right there, but I put him down because I get this is like I've been taking a lot of shots with this video, so. <laughs> but yeah, here's the RAD Rumble, and I'm glad I picked him up. He is an awesome transformer from all the Prime figures. Really cool, good size too. He's not as tall as the other one, so that was good. He's almost not a big guy. Pretty cool. Love the little scar face thing going on in the chest. Really awesome. I recommend get Rumble. He's a pretty cool RAD transformer. Let's see. I gotta start with Mick. This guy right here, Mick Foley. Oh, okay, I just looking at this in order. What's my favorite figures? Not going by order, but near like when there's a little less figures, that's when I talk about my favorite ones, really favorite ones. But he's, but I, I don't, you know what? I like all the figures. Let's just go with that. I love all the figures I got this month, much better. Right Except for the first figure I show you, Black Arachnids, whatever her name is. But yeah, I got Mick Foley, really awesome. The Flashback Series, Series 17, really good figure. Well, Matt comes out, so you can see the uh, Mick Foley face. Mr. Saka comes out, made a cloth, really cool figure. I'll fix them. I'll just leave it like this. Really awesome, very detailed look, just like him in the Attitude Era. Really great figure. I would recommend him if you can find him. He's one of the hard ones to get. Okay, great figure one by one, guys. Another great figure I got is the Defining More John Cena. He did come with other accessories, but I gave it the W tattoo to an, one of my wrestling figures. Try to make it look like old school Cena, you know, when he used to come in the jersey, old school United States, just spinner belt, mic on one hand. Pretty cool figure. For 10 bucks, not bad, because I know these Defining Moments figures were like 25 bucks or more in the stores, so glad I got them. Finally got Ghost, Marvel Legend Ghost Rider. I've been wanting to get this guy for a while, mainly to build Terex, but I always, always wanted a rider. I did, I did like how the figure came out, really cool. Found him at Toys R Us finally, because I don't know. I, he, Ghost Rider seems to be the one figure that was hard for me to find any all than all of them. My only gripe about the figure is lose ab crunch. That really sucks. I that's the only that that's the only gripe about the figure overall. Still a cool figure. Glad I got him though. I really glad I got him though. Got to get him for you know the complete Terax. Let's move on to another WWE figure, none other than Long Island IZ, Zack Ryder with the Internet Championship. Really awesome figure. I'm glad I saw, as soon as I saw I had to pick him up. Come on. Zack Ryder is still cool. I really like the figure. He came out well. Way better than his other one. The his, I don't remember. Series 9, Zack Ryder. Pretty cool, but I'm thinking of swapping, swapping the boots from here with the Series 9 boots because the Series 9 boots were silver, like this color tone. So maybe this will work better, but I'm not sure. I'm not really sure yet, but overall, great figure. Glad I got him. And like I said before, I'm not much of a fan of the basic figures. I only get them if, if it's a diva or is it um. I never know, like they're never going to make an elite version of him. But I know he will not, I'm not sure he'll ever get one, but it's the DW uh, basic figure. Great Khali is from the, I think it's figures of 2012 or something like that. Really cool figure, glad I pick him up. I know he's, they're not going to make a, like a elite version of him just because he doesn't do that much. He just walks around the ring, moves his arms around, and give you the Khali chop on the head. <laughs> Overall, still a great figure. I'm glad I got him. Great Khali. Even though he's like a good guy, and I I really wish they'd make him back as like the monster he was. 
Again, before I started collecting figure arts, my main line was for the imports were Sochak Henshin. They were the one they were the one toy line that were making awesome articulate it's just figure awesome. Excellent fig, uh, figures with articulation all that. And I got a uh, SH figure art SH figure art, I keep calling him <laughs> sorry. Sochak Henshin Climax form Dent O. Really awesome figure I got for really cheap because as soon as they made the figure arts version of him, he dropped down in price. This was like an exclusive figure, so he was pricey back then. But now it's really cheap just because they made the uh, radio figure arts version. Nonetheless, still an awesome figure. I'm glad I picked him up. We'll definitely get the figure arts version though, but for now, this guy is awesome. I'm glad I picked him up. Again, I see some truck engine figure, really cheap. I had to pick it up. Uh, you know what, let's go, I was going to show Terrax, but let's go with the Mario Universe. Again, I buy at least one or two Mario Universe a month. Uh, I find found Beast, really awesome, really articulated guy from my X-Men setup. He knows this is the astonishing version, mine's mainly like a 90's X-Men thing going on, but hopefully they make like uh, the other version of Beast. But overall, still a great figure, and toe hinge, guys, toe hinge articulation. So like the Mario Universe and all that. Uh, we're Getting to my favorite figures, but let's just and they're mainly the end parts. Sorry, guys. I'm a big I'm a import guy. I W O import world order. Yeah, I'm part of that. <laughs> but here's the build a figure return marlin way one Terax finally completed him. All I was missing were the arms, thanks to Ghost Rider, and my brother got the leg from Claw, so he gave me the leg for him. Really awesome. Glad I find build him. He's a really awesome build figure. My second one, because I don't got much build. My first build figure is actually Arm Zolo. I know, I know. But I'm getting there. I love Marvel Legends. Not as much as my imports, but they're awesome figures. I love the Marvel Heroes. So I'm glad I got um, finished Terax. And now, I guess you could call this two, four, six, my top seven favorite figures I got this month. Let's start with. S. No, not S. Cryo. He's. I think he's the higher point. Let's just move them all together. Yeah. Move you here. Move you there. Move you back here. And let's start with her. The Revel Tech. Uh, I do not. It's this. Is, I don't know. I do not remember the first name. But I know she's a Revel Tech. She's Yoko from Girl Lagan. Very awesome. Got from real. Got her for really good price. My only gripe about like as Rebel Techs, they're always hard to stand and balance. But, oh, now she's standing, and now she's standing. <laughs> but overall, she's a great figure. I'm glad I picked her up. I did like the anime. A lot of my friends did too, and she's a great figure. Awesome. She's good for six inches too. Like so, she's tall as a six inch figure for females. So pretty awesome figure. I recommend it if you can see her for a really good price because she's pricey now. As you know, I love the SH figure art line. This is my first figure from the anime series S. Cried. SH figure Kazu Kazu. I, I cannot pronounce it. Oh, yeah. Kazuma. Kazuma. I haven't watched the series in a while, but this figure art is awesome. I remember watching the anime on Adult Swim. I think it was Adult Swim or, or was it Toonami? I can't remember. I see my friend uh, Darius. He, I think that's how I pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it right, dude. I saw his picture of the figure, like, oh man. I didn't know they made a figure arts of him. I do. You find one on, I'm not going to say what website, but for a reasonable price, picked him up, and he is really awesome. I'm glad I picked him up. One of the coolest edges figures I picked up this month. This guy I got from site because he's an exclusive, is the SH Trigger Tamashi form Conrad Olds figure. Really cool. He come with hands, and that was pretty much it. Not a lot of accessories. He's a movie figure. It was you know he only he, only, he was only in this form from the movie. Really wish he came with some effects though. I think that was the only lacking of the figure. For being exclusive and pricey, like an eBay and all that, he should have at least came with a special effect for. But overall, still a cool figure, and I'm glad he doesn't got the wobbly head like my Tato Bar combo had. Overall, still a cool figure. Excuse me, I think I'm Bell Channel. I'm sure people heard that, but yeah, free car, awesome. I, I'm as you know, I'm a big fan of Con Rider and all that. Hold on. God bless me, God. Man. Let's move this a bit more. S H Figuarts Nasca Dope. Dopan Nas Nascan Dopan. Sorry, I cannot pronounce the name. 
freaking awesome. I always want to get some bad guys for my comrades to fight, but they're always ex bad guy figures are always exclusive and they're pricey as heck everywhere. So I'm glad I found him for a very reasonable price. Really glad I have him. He's like my second bad guy figure for he's for for Conrad W. Really awesome figure. Love the sword and the um, little flaps like kind of like wings or no more like scars really awesome he's a really awesome figure i glad i pick him up and you can say these are like my not my top three favorite well basically yeah, but i finally got dr's war gray miles i missed him out the first time around and he's so pricey on ebay high the lowest i see is 120. i can't really i can't really waste that much on one figure it's just like I couldn't do, I couldn't approach it, but then I went to a convention, had it for 70 bucks, had to buy. Just because I can, I don't know, I never seen that low back, maybe a while back he was, but I never picked him up. Kind of regret, one of my regrets not getting him early. But I got him now, I really love the, I'm a big fan of Digimon War, Gray, Gray, Agumon, Gray, all his forms were my favorites. And I love Digimon. I can't wait to get also the D-Arts Duke Mon because I'm a Digimon fan. I love Digimon. Glad they finally making articulate figures. And let's go with this girl. This is the Figma Konata from Lucky Star. She is cosplaying as Haruhi Suzumizo. Pretty cool. She's actually one of my first type of like a Figma exclusive. And she came out really good. She came with all her accessories and all that. Really glad I finally got her. I'm a, I love Lucky Star. So sorry for the price she was at. I had to pick her up. She was really awesome. And now, like again, I think she was. This one was like my one of my favorite figures, just because I love the anime series. And um, it's a cat girl. <laughs> this is the Figgy Toe Kanu from Mickey Tolson, and she came out really well. I was surprised how her packaging was huge. I couldn't believe it. I was like, when I got the box in the mail, like this is a big box just for a few figures. I can see why her packaging was huge. She came with a lot of good accessories, a base, a clear box to put the accessories, ch changeable hands, faces, and all that good stuff. A two types of tails she came with. Really awesome. She's really tall too. You can put her next to like uh she's way taller than a Figma. And next to an SH Figure Arts. Ooh, I gotta be careful because they're fragile. <laughs> Almost freaked out. We should about to fall. Way taller than a Figure Arts, yeah. Pretty awesome. And one of the other two she came with was two of her friends from the anime series. And they all dressed as little cat girls. May bring them up. Yeah, freaking awesome. But yeah, she's one of the coolest female figures I own. And first Figure Toe 2. I can see why they're pricey. They're very, fra but they're very fragile. So you gotta be careful with them. They, yeah, with all imports, you gotta be careful. But overall, as an amazing figure, I'm glad I got her. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my haul of the month. As man, this video is going too long. But again, I bought a lot this month. I want to tell each of you guys. And this time, at the end of my videos, I'll show you each a closer look at the figures, like a picture of each figure I took. So I'm glad you got I hope you guys enjoyed my haul of the month. This is Rap 5. I'll be Hen Shinagogo. Goodbye and peace out IWO crew. JR Nightmare, Rick, and Darius. I hope you guys enjoy my haul of the month as well. And anybody who loves imports, it doesn't matter if it's import or US made, every figure is awesome. I gotta say that. Marvel Legends, Figure Wars are both good lines. Doesn't matter if they're imports or not. Just you know, they're awesome. Just give them a try. Oh, no, that's all I have to say. Imports in America, no, it doesn't matter. Figures are figures. Collect what you like. There's a ref five. I'm going to hit you and go, go. Goodbye.